Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Davina, and if you're joining us for the first time, this is our second week of uh, live streaming uh, on Facebook, so welcome. Let's go ahead and sing our hello song for everyone. Ready? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? Again. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? So how are you today? I'm really excited to be here. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas. And uh, last week we talked about uh, winter because it's the beginning of December. And today we're going to talk about snow. and. The news says we might get some snow tomorrow. Some areas of Pennsylvania already have, but our area has only had a little bit of a dusting. So we'll see what happens if we get any snow or not. But our topic today is snow. And when Miss Davina was growing up, there were some big blizzards that I remember even to this day. And I don't know if it's been a while since we've had a real blizzard here in this area of Pennsylvania, but our first story is called Blizzard, and it's by John Rocco. And this is a story that um, he wrote about his experience. He is a survivor of the infamous blizzard of 1978, which covered his Rhode Island town with 40 inches of snow. That's as tall as most of you boys and girls. That's a lot of snow. And he was only a little boy when that happened. So I remember that blizzard and I remember what I was doing that year. And um, where I lived in Pennsylvania, we had a whole lot of snow and a lot of people got stuck on the roads So um, when they were traveling. So this is his story about what he did and this is a, a, a real, it's a story, but it talks about how his experience with the blizzard of 1978. Monday, and they're in school. The first flake fell right before recess. It was followed by many, many more. And see how it's starting to come down more and more? Oh my, the wind whipped up and school closed early. So see the wind is starting to get really windy and the snow starting to blow. But the, by the time my sister and I got home, the snow was already over our boots. That's a lot of snow. So by the time they walked home from school, the snow was so deep. The snow continued to fall through the, through the night, and I thought it would never stop. Oh my goodness, look at how high it is all the way up on that stop sign. That's a lot of snow. Do you guys remember the sign for stop? Do you remember? Remember? It's like, you, like karate chop, but you don't hit it hard. Stop. So the stop sign was getting covered, and the snow was not stopping. He didn't know when it was gonna happen. Tuesday. Oh, wow, look at all of that snow. The next morning, the snow drifts were so high, we couldn't open our front door. So we went out the window instead. So they're climbing out the windows because they couldn't even get out their door. Look at how deep it is. His dog's even stuck in the snow. We laughed as we sank into the frozen powder, but walking was hard. It was like trying to move through white quicksand. Every few steps, I had to stop and rest. It was even too deep for our sled. So he's trying to pull them, his sister, but it was even too deep for that. When we went back inside, we were cold, wet, and tired. Oh my goodness, look at the dog shaking all his wet fur all over the house. We made camp by the wood stove and our feet tingled as we sipped hot cocoa made with milk. That looks cozy and warm. 
On the third day, Dad shoveled the driveway so he could get our car out when the snow plows came. We dug tunnels and secret rooms under the snow. And his sister says an igloo can keep you warm in sub-zero temperatures. What's an igloo, I asked. Look how deep that snow is. Wow, that's a lot of snow. By day four, the plow still hadn't come. So there's Thursday, they have it written in the snow. I wondered if we'd ever see grass again. What color is grass? Does anybody remember? Right, it's green. So the snow is white. And he's way up in the tree looking out at all the snow in the neighborhood and saying, are we ever going to see the grass again? It's everything's covered in snow. Uh-oh, does he look like he's happy or does he look like he's kind of bored? Yeah. Inside, things got tense as our food started to run out. I knew we couldn't survive much longer on cocoa made with water. We need to get to the store, but the roads aren't plowed and we certainly can't walk through this. What do you think they're going to do? Any ideas? You never know. So he's thinking of an idea and it's Friday. Friday. One on day five, I realized it was up to me to take action. I was the only one who had memorized the survival guide. I was the only one who knew what equipment was required. What's he doing? Oh, he's getting out tennis rackets and he's tying them to his feet. Why do you think he's doing that? Any ideas? Well, they're kind of like snowshoes. Look at that. He's walking right up on top of the, of the snow. He's not sinking down in. I was the only one light enough to walk on top of the snow. On day six, I made a list. Day six was Saturday. And on his list is milk, bread, eggs, candy bar. I prepared the sled, so he's waxing up the runners on his sled. And then I set off. And I'm sure he asked mom and dad for permission first. Back when Miss Davina was younger, um, the towns were not as big, so we, we could go and walk around in town without our moms and dads with us a lot easier. My usual landmarks were covered by snow drifts, but I managed to check in with the neighbors on my long journey. So he's stopping and asking each neighbor what they need when he goes to the store. And this neighbor says candles, this one says cat food. Do you remember the sign, sign for cat? Remember whiskers. It's like whiskers on a cat. This one says coffee. Miss Davina always wants, wants coffee. I'd be awfully upset if I ran out of coffee. And this lady says peanut butter. Oh my goodness. Let's look at this great big map. This is a long map. Wow. Look at all of that. So I checked in with the neighbors and he's got this whole, he goes all the way around. I helped build a snowman. I climbed a lookout. So he climbed up in the tree to see, oops, I went the wrong way. I made a snow angel, explored an igloo, joined a snowball fight. And he made it to Bill's Market. And you can see that's not a big town. It's just all spread out. So he made it to the market. At last, I reached the store. I was tired and hungry and chilled to the bone. But I couldn't think about just myself. I was on a mission. Are you going to carry all this by yourself, Mr. Uh, the, the market owner is asking him. And I said, yes, sir, I've got my sled. Meanwhile, his wife is on the phone with, I think, mom and says, yes, he's on his way back now, letting her know that he's on his way back. 
On the return trip, I raced to drop off the groceries before the sun went down. And look, it's starting to get dark. <gasps> wow! Grateful smiles and cheers gave me the energy I needed to make it back home. Oh boy, he looks tired, doesn't he? Look at that. He looks really tired. The dog's happy to see him. Mom and dad are happy to see him, and so is his sister. That night, we all had hot cocoa made with milk, and it had never tasted better. But there was something else we still needed. What do you think they need? I don't know. Let's find out. Snowplows! Oh my goodness, it looked as though we would see civilization again after all. So the snowplows finally made it there on Sunday. Guess we'll have to go back to school tomorrow. And this little girl saying, boo. Moms and dads are going, oh, thank heavens. And the kids are going, I was going stir crazy. And they're giving the snowplow driver a mug of hot cocoa. We had survived the blizzard. That's a lot of snow. Oh my goodness. So on Monday, February 6th, 1978, New England experienced one of the biggest snowstorms in its history. It snowed for two days and by the time it stopped, parts of Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut were buried under 40 inches of snow. That's four times the height of this book. So if you took this book and put it four times up, that's how tall it would be. It took over a week for snowplows to get to our street. This book is based on my experience as a 10-year-old boy in that blizzard and how I got to the store over a mile from my house with tennis rackets tied to my feet. So he actually did that. He actually walked over a mile in deep, deep snow with using tennis rackets to keep himself from sinking into the snow. That was pretty smart. That was a lot of, a lot of hard work that he did to help his, his neighbors and his family out. So this is a song we sang last year and it goes snowflakes, snowflakes falling down. And it's to the tune of twinkle, twinkle, little star. They're falling to the ground. Can you catch them on your nose? Will they fall and touch your toes? And remember, snow kind of just goes softly because this is rain, but snow just kind of drifts softly. Ready? Here we go. Snowflakes, snowflakes falling down, falling, falling to the ground. Can you catch them on your nose? Will they fall and touch your toes? Snowflakes, snowflakes falling down, falling, falling to the ground. And if you're not already standing, you can stand up and help Miss Davina sing this. So let's do it one more time. So get your snowflakes ready. Ready? Snowflakes, snowflakes falling down, falling, falling to the ground. Can you catch them on your nose? Will they fall and touch your toes? Snowflakes, snowflakes falling down, falling, falling to the ground. That was really good. And that's a fun song to sing. And we might sing it again before the end of the of, of um, the year. We'll see what happens. But my next book that I have for us is called Snow Music. And it's by Lynn Ray Perkins. And look at that. There's a snow globe. And it looks like a cool, a really neat little town inside that snow globe. So let's find out what this music, um, oh, look at the snowflakes look like music notes. That's so neat. Everybody help me do that whisper really loud. Everyone whisper. Soft. 
soft as our nests when day has gone. Snow came singing a silent song. Night was here, but she left at dawn. And there's all kinds of animals in here. There's, what's in this? What is that? Does anybody know what that is? It's a bird, and I don't know if you know what kind of bird that is. You can email Davina, Miss Davina, maybe have mom and dad or a special grown up, let Miss Davina know what you think that is. And these are bunny rabbits. And let's see if I can put it where you can see it. There we go, over here, a squirrel. And he's sleeping with his cat. There's a deer. Oh, and look, the dog was getting out of bed with him because they were sleeping all night. Look at the beautiful scene in the morning. Oh, the dog got out the door. Oh no. What is the sound of one bird hopping? Does the deer feel the cold of the snow in her hoofs? I don't know, but see the bird and the deer and they're making all different kinds of tracks in the snow. They're light in, the birds are light enough to walk on top of the snow. Hop, hop, hop. I think, I think I left it. I think, I think I left it here somewhere. I think, I think I know I left it here. I think, I think, I think I left it. Oh no, wait. What's the squirrel doing? He can't find his nut. He's trying to figure out where he buried his nut in the snow. You said something like, hi. I say something like, Hi, have you seen my dog? No, did he get loose? I just opened the door and he looked out and he bolted. So now they're both gonna go look for his dog. Ready? Jingle, huff, jingle, huff, jingle, huff, jingle, huff. There's his dog. And he's got a jingle bell on his neck. A car went by. Someone inside was drawing in the frost on the window. We could hear its radio playing. Ready? That's what it sounded like because the window was up. Then a truck song came by. It was really, really loud. Truck noise was scraping of the plow and the tires and bursts of sand and salt hit the road. So there's all kinds of sounds that are going on. Did you find him? No, he couldn't find his dog, but look, where is he sitting? He's outside sitting under the window. He came home, but they don't realize he's there. All of us looking for something to eat. The sun came looking for something to heat. It found the snow and the deer's cold feet. There he is, I see him. So they climbed way up in the trees to try to see if they could see where his dog was. The leaves are scattering across the ground. Good boy, why are you saying he's good? So he'll like coming home. Oh, click and he put his leash on the dog. The dog's all happy to see him. Quick and as quiet as a bunny on a road, swift and as silent as the shadow of a crow, clouds crept in and started to snow. Everyone whispers, ready? So it's not really necessarily music, but if you're listening to the snow, if you're outside when it's snowing and listen to all the different sounds, it's almost like music because there's all different kinds of sounds around us and all you have to do is stop and be quiet and listen. Use your ears to listen 
and you never know what you might hear and it might make it sound like music to you. So that was the last book I have for today. And the last song that I have is the Snokey Pokey. And you boys and girls can help me with this one. You know, it's like the Hokey Pokey, but we're putting our mittens in. We're putting our mittens out. Then we're going to do um, our boots and our hat. So, when, so I want you to help me with this. Ready? Here we go. You can stand up and do this. You put your right mitten in, you put your right mitten out. You put your right mitten in and you shake it all about. You do the snokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left mitten in, you put your left mitten out. You put your left mitten in and you shake it all about. You do the snokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. What's next? How about your boots? Ready? You put your right boot in, you put your right boot out. You put your right boot in and you shake it all about. You do the snokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Left boot. You put your left boot in, you put your left boot out. You put your left boot in and you shake it all about. You do the snokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, let's put our hats in. What's your hat? Your head. So put your head in. Ready? You put your hat in. You put your hat out. You put your hat in and you shake it all about. You do the snokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. How about your whole self? Ready? So we're going to jump into the middle. Ready? You put your whole self in. You put your whole self out. You put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You do the snokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yay! You guys did such a great job. That was so much fun. And I miss seeing you doing that in front of me. But I'm, if you want to send pictures to Miss Davina, if you want to tell Miss Davina that you're watching, I can say your name. I can say, hi, um, Jaden, hi, um, whatever your name is, Cammy, Susie, Johnny, Lohan, Lowen, hi, Lowen. It's so nice to see you. So you can tell Miss Davina that you're watching and I'll say hi to you in the story time and I'll try to remember that. So let's go ahead and we'll sing our goodbye song. And remember you can wave like this or you can wave like this and friends is like this. So it's two fingers hugging twice. Ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Hi, Keegan. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We clap our hands like this. Yay! So we can clap our hands for our friends. And so if you boys and girls aren't able to watch live stream, the, st the um, story times are being recorded and put up on our YouTube channel just like they were before we started doing it live and there will be activities and other books that go along with our um, story time and Miss Davina's emails on there so please be, um, check it out see what other activities there's fun crafts and games and some things that you can print out to have fun to go along with our story time so bye guys I'll see you next week and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Thank you.